Good evening. Good evening, Lucy. Good evening, Erica. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking, Lucy. No problem, Erica. We'll be waiting for you to get home, all right? So let's see. So how was your day, Lucy? Did you go to work today? Um, it was a little bit busy, but busy. I'm okay. Yes. Yeah, it's Monday, right? So it norm it's normally busy. Yes. All right. I'm now, uh huh. All right, so hey, Nelson, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Sorry, let me, give me a text. Excuse me? Oh, okay. Good evening, teacher. Excellent, that's better. So how are you? Yes. I feel a little bad. How I was have your day? Mm, it was a little hard. Oh, okay. Well, sorry to hear that. So I, I understood that you have a headache. Is that right? Yes, teacher. I, sorry to hear that, my friend. Yes, I think maybe is. I don't How do you say it yes, in English, teacher? Excuse me, how do you say what word? Stress in English. Stress. Stress. Right. Ah, okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, well, so yeah, sometimes when you're stressed, you can also get different uh, symptoms, like right? such as headache or such as um you know any other um eggs right so like that well we are just going to wait for um some other classmates to join the class so we can start with the first activity all right so meanwhile we are waiting for that so who else is here so it is nelson which is you lucy and erica who's driving all right so no problem Did, did you read the, the news about what happens today in the morning in San Salvador? No, teacher. Yeah, so it was something um shocking, actually. Really? Yeah, so if you have the time, um, you know, to to read the news, to, to see what happens today in the morning, check it out. So you will see it was actually something extremely shock shocking. Okay. All right, all right. So, hey, Vanessa, good evening. How are you, Vanessa? I'm okay. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking and so happy to have you here. 
So let's see. Oh, Isela, good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, trainer. Good evening. Fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. So happy because it's Monday, so I can see you guys again. All right. So, and how was your day, Isela? Hello, how was your day? Was it good? Was it busy? Not good? Hello, um, the ask is for, <laughs> is for me. Yes, of course. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Um, my day is tired for Monday for mm -hmm, my work. <laughs> um, oh, <my> <laughs> I'm working the hospital. Is is the month the start? The months, the la prevención del cáncer de mama. Cancer prevention, ¿Cómo? breast cancer prevention. What? Repeat breast, me. breast cancer prevention. Breast, breast cancer prevention. Prevention, correct. Okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, so I can imagine, right? So definitely. All right. So, well, let me say good evening to. Everybody else, I can see also Adriana is in the class. Joelman, good evening, Joelman. All right, so Mr. Luna, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. All right, awesome. So, well, we are going to start the class officially right now. Thank you, everybody else, for joining the class on time. I truly appreciate your punctuality. All right, so let's just start right now. You know, um, with like, with, I like to start the class with. All right, so you know, this is my favorite one and it's a tongue twister. So today's tongue twister is actually part of a song, right? So it's a very popular song, I guess it's from the end of the um, 90s or the beginning of the 2000s, right? So perhaps you have heard this one, So, but we're going to work on repeating. You might say this is like a long um, tongue twister, but it's actually the same vocabulary, repeated many, many times and see if you can actually say it speaking faster. It says right there, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. All right, so it's like that. Have you ever heard that song? Yes, sir. Yes? The, the right. Spice Girls. The Spice Girls, excellent. All right, so you got it, you got it in the middle. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Tell me what I want, what I really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want to run the minute. <laughs> yeah, right. I, oh I my knew, god. I knew who the cock. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that 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 meme? Uh, not really. Which one? It, it's a girl who who was singing this song in the car. Uh-huh. Tell me what you want really, really, really well, guys. And and after it's a it's a face of a cock. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that will have to like see it there. All right. So just for the ones who haven't heard the song, it's just like this one. I'll try to play it here. Uh, let me see here. Trying to play it right now so you can hear it. So let's see here. That's the long video. That's the one. It's about to start, I guess. Hmm. 
That's actually the song, right? So, and you guys are going to repeat it just like, you know, to practice. As I said before, every day we start the class and we like to start with a tone switcher so we can actually improve our pronunciation by repeating all those things weekly, right? So if we go here, just like, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. All right, so which is actually like this one right here. Let me correct it because I guess this is actually like this. And then we're going to actually do it like this. All right. Perfect. Corrected. All right. So now, everybody, let's just read it. So I will give you just a couple of minutes so you can practice it. And then I will choose some volunteers to uh, read it, right? Not singing. Just read it, okay? <laughs> so let's see. It's going to be just like two minutes to practice that one, all right? So you can do it. If you have questions about the pronunciation, just let me know. But I guess it's going to be easy for you because... The words are really, really easy, right? So basically, they are repeating the same thing right here. So let me just start the timer right now so I can give you two minutes. All right. Two minutes starting now. Go ahead. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Hey, teacher. I, yes, sir. I just sent, I just sent the, the, the memo by the WhatsApp group. You can see. All right. Let you me take see. a look to it. <laughs> let me I take a look to it. I tell you what I want. Don't tell me what you want. Me. All right, all right. So let's see here. Okay, so. Oh, the cat mimicking the girl and wannabe. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Very funny. <laughs> All right. Let's see this one. Hold on one second right here. Oh, uh, you still have 40 seconds, people. You can continue practicing, all right? No problem. Okay, okay. If your camera is off, you are a candidate to be one of the first volunteers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, let's see. 10 seconds. Done. Awesome. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, so do I have a volunteer? Who wants to be my volunteer for reading this? Hello, hello. No volunteers? No problem. Yes, oh, okay. Uh, I am Don't worry, Mr. Me. Luna. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> I will tell you why I... I will tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Mm -hmm. All right. So you know what? It was actually nice, right? So, but you need like energy, like this song, right? So I tell you what I want, see. what I really, really want. So tell me what you <laughs> You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. All right. I want to, I want to, I want to really, really, really. really, really, really. <laughs> All right. So very good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was actually something super nice. All right. Now you are going to uh, choose the next one. Who is it? Mm. Let me. Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Lucy, not for me. Hi. All right. Ready for singing? Yes. All right. Go ahead. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I tell you what I want, what, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. 
Excellent. Good job. That was actually super nice. You did it very good. Good job. Good job. Good job on that one. Thank you. You can continue now with the next volunteer. Who's the next volunteer? Lucy, please give us a hand. Lucy, Lucy, who's next? Lucy. Hector. Hector. Is Hector in the class? Oh, yes, but he says listener. I know, Don't... but it, uh, no, no, I, I'm not in home. I, I cannot connect the camera because uh, I, I have a garbage. <laughs> oh, okay. But can you participate? Yeah, I can, teacher. All right, go ahead then. The first, okay. Both of them. Oh, all, uh, all day you want do what I want, what I want. I really, really want to tell me what you want, what they really, really want. Oh, tell you what I want. I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I tell you one I want, what they really, really want. So tell me what you want. What you really, really want, I I will tell you one I want, <laughs> when I really, really want, so tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Oh, it's difficult. All right, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You did it good, you did it good, 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 good. Thank you, all right. Hector, who's next? Who's next, who's next, Hector? Uh, uh, Daniel? No, Daniel creo que ya no. Yeah, it was the first one. Daniel? Yes, yes, yes. Um, Holman. Holman! Great choice. <clears throat> you know, singing, rapping, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'll tell you, <clears throat> sorry. No problem. Uh, uh, I told you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Or you told me what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what I really, really want. Uh, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Or tell me you what I want, uh, what I really, really want. So tell me we. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Great, awesome. Thank you very much. All right. So I appreciate it. Thank you for trying. Right. So very good job. Thank you. Thank you, Holman. Who's the next person? Tell me. Mm, the big team. <laughs> big team, he said. Volunteer, no, big team. <laughs> Eva, Eva. All right, Eva. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello, Ivan. Okay. It'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. It'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you're what, what you really, really want. It'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. It'll tell you what I want, I want, I really, really want to tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you for trying. All right. So, and I want you to please go with the last volunteer. Who's the last volunteer, Ivan? Ah, let me see. Let me see. Um, Mr. Nelson Antonio Rodas. Very good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Tell you what you want, what you are really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I tell you what you want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. 
Okay, great, 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 great. Excellent. Thank you very much. You did it wonderfully. Thank you, guys. You know, this is just an example, right? So of one of the many songs that you can try to uh, sing, right? So you can actually um, continue improving your pronunciation and, of course, your intonation, which is going to help you to sound even better in English, right? So, but thank you for trying, right? So remember that the first step is to practice the pronunciation and then you go with the other areas such as the pronunciation, I mean, the intonation, all right? So, well, everybody, please, I want you to check the um, the chat here in um, Zoom. I just sent a link so we can join uh, an activity like the one we joined last Friday, right? So I can see that Adriana is already in. So thank you, Adriana. I can see Icefield, which I'm sure is Isela. All right, so Vanessa, thank you. So let me just switch this so you can see exactly. All right, there you go, excellent. So that's the new screen. I send the link so you can just click on it and join that one. So we have Fatima already there. So I have four. So in the class, we are now 13, right? So please join the class. I have only four people joining the class. I'm missing Ivan, Daniel, Erica, Hector, Holman, Fatima, and whoever else can join this class, please. I guess with at least eight to 10 people, we can go ahead and continue. Okay, we got six. Let's see, just two more. One more. There you go, eight. Anybody else who wants to join that one? Let's see, let's see. Okay, we got eight, so we can continue. Thank you, Hector. Ten, hold man. Thank you. We got ten. We can start now. Don't worry if you haven't started yet, so you can actually uh, uh, join the class later here. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, all right. This is actually what we're going to be talking about um, tonight, right? So sentence fragments. This is a grammar section that is actually part of the um, to your book. All right. We're going to be working on some exercises later. But first of all, you need to understand this one. So everybody I have a question for you. What is a fragment? Do you know what is a fragment? Yes or no? Hello. If you, do, if you don't talk about the mathematics, I think it's a, a part of a, of a, um, a sentence. Teacher? Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, we definitely don't talk about mathematics, <laughs> right? So, <yes. laughs> thank um, you. <laughs> yeah, because I know how hard that could be, right? So, but no worries. Um, This is just about like uh, sentences. And it, as you said correctly, it's just part of a sentence, right? So let's see exactly what this is. We can check it out right here. All right. So it says right here, first of all, we need to understand what is a sentence, all right? So sentences all right i need a volunteer who can help me to read this definition who can help me with that one teacher yeah. who vanessa vanessa thank you vanessa okay sentences a sentence is a group of words that contain a complete thought or idea all sentences have a subject and print Predicate. Predicate. Thank you very much. Vanessa and everybody else, remember that when you are reading the plural of sentence, that will be sentences. Please, everybody, repeat it. Sentences. 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 Thank you very much. All right. So thank you, Vanessa. And that was, that's correct. So, you know, everybody knows what's a sentence. Of course, you are advanced level, so you are pretty familiar with that. So let's just move forward to see what happens right here. All right. Now, let's try to understand what is a fragment. All right, so can someone help me to read this definition? Hello, hello, volunteers? 
Please go ahead, Ivan. Oh, who was the volunteer? No, it's, it's uh, Rodas, Nelson. Oh, Nelson, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Fragment or an incomplete sentence. It's called a sentence fragment, sentence fragment alone. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, right? So as you can see there, it has very important information because it says that it's just part of a sentence, right? As we were discussing before, it's just, you know, a portion of a sentence, right? It's incomplete. It's an incomplete sentence, right? And they cannot stand alone. So we need more information, all right? So we need to say like, um, so like, for example, if I tell you, you know what, guys, I bought, what did I say? I bought. You say nothing. What, what, what did I say, actually? Compré. Yeah, but what? It's a fragment of a sentence. Exactly. So I didn't complete it. So I just actually say the set the, the subject and the verb, but I didn't add any complement to finish with the idea, right? So this is actually what it means, right? A uh, fragment sentence. So now let's say this one right here. Take a look. We have some examples, all right? So let's see volunteer for the example number one right here. Like this one. Uh, who can help me to read this example? Draw to the store. Thank you very much. Draw to the store, which means what? Who oh, is draw to the store? You don't, you don't remember draw? Uh, um, Manejo. Manejo, all right. So, mm -hmm. exactly. So, you actually don't know if it says manejo, manejaron, or maneje, because as you can see in parentheses there, oh, it doesn't okay. have subject. All right, so it's an incomplete sentence, right? It doesn't have a subject, so we don't know who you're talking about, right? Then the next one here, because the sun, everybody, because the sun. Because the sun. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. This because the sun. Uh, how do you translate that into Spanish? Just to see if you can actually uh, get the idea. Por qué el sol? All right. So not necessarily por qué. It can be only por, por el sol, right? So uh, because the sun. All right. So, but if I just say because the sun, you don't understand what I'm talking about unless I give you more context. All right. So because like, for example, imagine... I am sitting in this place, but it's really sunny here, right? So then I'm going to move to a different chair. And I said, like, teacher, why did you move? Oh, because the sun, right? So understand? Okay. So in that context, you understand why I said the phrase. But if I don't give you context, it's just like what happens with the sun, right? Help me with the last one here. That will be the girls on the porch. Repeat, everybody. The girls, the, the girls on the porch. Thank you very much. What is this like the girls on the porch? You know, first of all, do you understand what is the porch? It's like uh, a car. A no, car? It's a, it's a, Are you it's sure? A park. It's a part of the, uh, the bra branding the car. Porch. Part of the house. All right. Excellent. So it definitely sounds like the car brand, of course, right? But in this context... Yeah. It's not that one. It's actually a different one. What What do you say it was, eh, Daniel? It's a from. It's a front part of the house. All right, exactly. It's just like the the, the front part of the house, right? Uh, well, in El Salvador, we call it corredor, right? Corredor. Mm. Yeah, but it's actually a uh, portico, if I'm not wrong, on entrada, basically. So understand. Yeah. So, but if I say, for example, 
Oh, you know what, guys? The girls on the porch. And then I'm going to continue with the sentence. So they'll be like, what happens with the girls, right? So what are you trying to say, All right? So no predicate or not a compliment, as we call it, right? So let's see. What's next one right here? Let's see if you can identify it, all right? So read each example. Choose whether the example is a complete sentence or a sentence fragment. So what are we going to do? Very simple. I'm going to show you some examples of sentences, and then you guys are going to determine if they are complete sentences or if they are a sentence fragment. Understand? Great, awesome. Let's see the first one. It's a question like the last time. So you have some time. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. Through the ball, complete sentence or sentence fragment? You still have 15 seconds to decide. 10 seconds. Only half of the people have bought it. Six people. Six people. There you go. Time's up. So let's see here. All right. Sentence fragment. That is correct. It's just part of a sentence, right? Because, you know, as you can see here, it says, um, you know, through the ball. But it's just like you are not saying where do I have to throw the ball or who do I have to throw uh, the ball to or anything like that. So it's just like a command, right? So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see the next one. Good job, everybody. Good job. Pay attention to the next one. After Madeline, make a basket. Complete sentence or sentence fragment. Complete sentence on sentence fragment. Five seconds. All right, excellent. So now let's see. Okay. Oh, look at those. All right, so aha, uh -huh. six people said it this one. And yeah, it's a sentence fragment. Again, it says here, after Madeline made a basket, it's just like if I say in Spanish, después de que Madeline hizo una canasta. So what happens? I don't have any other complimentary information right there. So definitely a segment fragment, a sentence fragment, sorry. Go with the next one. Okay, Aiden flipped in the air. Very good, very good. That's very clear. It's different from the previous one. So that should give you an idea. Okay, there you go, there you go. Two seconds. Time's up, it says. Who's winning right now? Oh my goodness. Vanessa first place, Daniel second place, Adriana third place. Very good. Hey, everybody chose the correct answer. Good job, everybody. You did it wonderfully. Yeah. It's definitely a complete sentence. So let's go on the next one right here. Hmm. Cheer, clap, and yelled. Or cheered. Clap in yelled. Okay. So it's almost time. You still have some seconds. I'm giving you more time so everybody can participate. You know, little by little, everybody is just participating in these activities, right?
Very good. Time's up. Ooh, we have three people who made a mistake, right? But don't worry because the majority of you got it correctly. So it's a sentence fragment. Yeah, it says cheer, clap, and yell, right? So it's just like instructions. A cheer, clap, and yell. All right. Hey, next one. Let's see what's next. Mm -hmm. The soccer ball bounces against the goal post. Bounce, bounce, bounce. So, still have some time there. 10 seconds. Let's see this one. Very good. So let's see who's first place right now. Adrian is first place. Daniel second. Vanessa third. Hey, everybody. It's a wonderful job. Everybody who participated chose the correct answer. Let's see another one. Let's see another one. All right, all right. So you got it, you got it. So you see that one. Mm -hmm. Part of a sentence says Vanessa here. Oh, here I can see who is actually giving the answers. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Who else can help me? Still have some seconds, people. Hi, right, so Very good. So let's see here. Five people were able to sub in the predicate, part of a sentence, have a subject, verb, and complement, sentence with all parts, verb, person, and adjective. Good. We have a clear idea about subject, verb, and complement. Very good, Adriana. I have a subject and predicate. All right. So, okay. So, yeah, all their sentences there or your opinions are very good. And it definitely answers the question about what is a complete sentence. Thank you very much. So let's see the next one right here. You're doing an excellent job, guys. Let's continue. It says now, write the definition of a sentence fragment. So we are going to wait for your answers. So let's just continue. Okay, that's very fine. So now I can see some of the um, answers. Part of a sentence, this is Daniel. It's a part of a sentence, don't have sense by itself. Amazing. Uh, a sentence fragment, it's an incomplete sentence, of course, part, of, part complementary of an idea. Complementary part of an idea, all right? This is a part of a sentence, the idea is incomplete. Yeah, we needed like more people who participating in this one, but let's see. You are doing good, no problem. Okay. There you go, there you go. So let's see this one. All right, let's see who's next. Daniela played with her telephone. Complete sentence or sentence fragment? Uh -huh. Isela has an answer. Fatima, no 
answer. Joel, man, hello, ho, man. Please answer the question. Antonio, please answer the question. All right, thank you, ho, man. Okay, Antonio. All right, there you go. Let's see here. Let's see who's actually, oh, leading here. Adriana is at the top. Very far from Daniel and Vanessa. All right, Hector is in the fourth place. Good job. Yep, complete sentence. Absolutely, right? We almost finished this activity, right? Let's keep working on it. Next one, next one. It says right there, fell down the stairs. Very good. Okay, awesome. Fatima, Samantha, Hector, Ivan, Antonio. Is it complete or fragmented? Let's see, let's see. Isela and Antonio, because this one is Joel. Time's up! So let's see. Okay, we can see Adriana at the top. Isela is winning as well. Ooh, someone actually chose the incorrect one, but we have actually the majority of you got the correct answer. Good job, good job. So let's see in this one right here. We are about to finish, don't worry. All right, Calvin pets his cat for five hours straight. Complete or fragmented? That's the question. All right. All right, all right. No problem, so it seems. Uh -huh. All right. Who says doesn't find the option Frank to answer? Hmm, people take a look. It says right there. Hmm, that was What's difficult for you, all right? So you said a sentence fragment or complete sentence. I'll tell you what happens right here, all right? So if this happens because of perhaps maybe you didn't understand the meaning of the word pets. What's the meaning of pets? That is correct. That is also correct, Vanessa. It's actually the verb acariciar. We're talking about your pets, all right? So Calvin pets his cat. So acaricia su mascota por cinco horas. All right. So I guess that was the confusing part on this one, but don't worry. All right. So it was definitely a complete sentence right here. Sure. Tell me. And this for five hours straight, it's like five all hours continu continuous. Continuous, exactly. Continuous. Okay. Next one. After class ending. Ligia took a nap with her dog, Rocky. Complete or fragment? Mm -hmm. Time's up. So let's see. This is there. Adriana is still at the top. Daniel second. Vanessa third. Isela fourth. And then we got this one right here. Okay. Yeah. It's actually a very complete sentence right here. All right. So let's see. What happens in this one is that I just have um two sentences, let's say in one, but it's still complete because it says like after class ended. And then I have more information. Ligia took a nap with her dog, Rocky. So that's definitely a complete answer. In the case that I only have, for example, the first part, 
after class ended. And that's the only sentence I have there. So then I'm going to have a fragment sentence because I don't have more information. If I only have this part, this one right here, let me just try to like, This one right here is going to be an incomplete sentence if I only had that part. But the complete sentence right here includes everything. So it's a complete sentence. Clear? Yes or yes? We almost finished, people. Take a look. We are, we are 16 out of 18. All right. So let's see the next one. Sophia's new puppy. Ooh. What happens with Sophia's new puppy? All right, time's up. So let's see who's winning right now. All right, Adriana is at the top. All right, Samantha in Vanessa, close. Sentence fragment, exactly. El nuevo, or el nuevo cachorro de Sofía, it says there. So what happens, All right? So it doesn't actually have more information. So it's definitely a fragment sentence. All right, the last one, the last one, the last one, no more, all right? It says right here, that is just a review, all right? So just for you to have it clear, so we can sum it up, so I mean, uh, summarize here all the information. Remember, it says there, can someone help me to read the first uh, paragraph? Someone, someone, can you help me with the first paragraph? Thank you, okay, uh, Ivan. Uh -huh. Review. Review a sentence is a group of words that contain a complete truth. All right. sentences con uh, talk. Mm -hmm. Talk all sentences contain a subject and predicate. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. That was actually correct. That's like what a sentence mean. means. Sorry. The next one, please. <clears throat> Go ahead, Hector. Okay. Part of a sentence or an incomplete sentence is called a sentence in fragment. Sentence in fragment cannot stand alone. All right. Thank you very much, Hector. Just remember this word here, it's pronounced sentence. Sentence. Thank you very much. Truly appreciate it, right? So, all right, do you guys have questions about this? Yes or no? No questions? Oops. Yes, we're gonna finish this one. Let's see who was answering completely. All right, so first place here, Adriana with 9,650 points. All right, oh, Daniel, you were very close. Only 200 points away from um, Adriana, Vanessa, 8,000, Samantha, 6,000, with Hector as well, Isela, 6,000, Fatima, 7th place, Ivan, 4,000, Holman, bueno, Holman, entre los dos, llegamos como a 3,000, 4,000, all right, so, 2,000 de aquí, más 2,000 de aquí, all right, so, thank you, all right, so we are going to, uh, Continue working on this one. So do you have questions about this, ladies and gentlemen? Yes or no? No, teacher. All right, awesome. So we are going to continue with this one. Thank you, thank you. So now let's just share this one right here. All right, so let's see. One second. So you can go to your manual, people. All right.
There you go. There you go, there you go. So I'm trying to share the screen right now. Here it is. All right, excellent. So I'm going to share this is information that you can find as well on your manual, right? So we can actually go and work together on this one. So let's see. Okay, this is related to the topic that we were studying before about the um, sentence fragment, all right? And uh, we are going to review it right here. When it says right here, okay, I need another volunteer who can help me to read this part right here, this one. Those two lines, volunteer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Fatima. Go ahead, please. Complete sentences state complete to and contain both a, both a subject and a verb expressing an action done by or to that subject. Thank you very much, Fatima. That was actually a very good job as well, all right? Just as a recommendation, remember, this is a word that you pronounce like thoughts. Repeat it, thoughts. Thoughts. Oh, it sounds like this one. Let's say it, right? Oops, sorry. Like that. Pronounce it. Thoughts. Uh, uh, thoughts. Remember, it's 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 not like like with s, right? It's like with the v in Spanish, like to say thoughts. corazón. So we like thoughts. Repeat it. Thoughts. 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 Exactly. It sounds like that. All right. Super good. You did it wonderfully. All right. Thank Oops. you. Oops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for participating here. All right. So now I need another volunteer who can help me with those two lines right here. Can someone help me, please? Okay. Me to Go ahead, my friend. Go ahead. Thank okay. you. Uh, fragments confuse readers because they lack a subject or a verb would make meaning incomplete and unclear. Okay, thank you very much. So you got it correctly there. All right, so let's say this one. It's just basically what we just read in other presentation, right? So here I'm just like trying to, um, you know, follow exactly what, what it is there, all right? So you can actually see it. Now, it, it says right here, the following, sorry, people, my computer here. Okay, it's back. All right, and then we have the examples. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who can help me here with the first example? The first example, the first example. To read it. Oops, what happens? <laughs> Excuse me, people. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Volunteer for reading, example A. Me, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Hector, right? Mm -hmm. What millennials really need? Mm -hmm. This is an incomplete throat. There is an adverb followed by the information that describes the millennials' need. Exactly. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, we're talking about millennials again. All right, and it's this one says right here, what millennials really need, but what is it? So if you translate that into Spanish, that would be like, lo que los millennials necesitan, and then I don't have any other verb or any other information that can explain to me what is exactly what they need, right? So I might need another verb or a noun. So for example, what millennials need is internet, or what millennials need it's love or anything like that, just to say something. All right. Thank you, Hector, for helping me with that one. Let's just go ahead and review the letter B. Letter B. Volunteer? Hey, teacher. Thank you very much. Go ahead, Nelson. Heaven Direct Work. 
this is an incomplete thought who is having direction at work. There is not a subject. Exactly. All right. Thank you very much. It says having direction at work. It's if you like say just like that, it doesn't actually say anything. But then we have the next one, which is this one right here, a complete sentence. Who can help me to read this complete sentence? Thank you, Vanessa. Please go ahead. Complete sentence. Millennial subject really need to have direction at work. Thank yeah. you very much. So in this one right here, so you can identify here uh, the subject, which is going to be millennials. All right. So and then this one right here, really need, which is the verb. And then here we have the complement, which is this one, to have direction at work. So then we actually structure a complete sentence right there, right? So because we include the subject, the verb, and the complement at the end. So thank you. Do you have questions about this? It's a very easy topic, isn't it? What do you think? Or is it complicated? All right, so let's see. Let's just actually, before we go with the exercise that you see here, let's just go with some tips to avoid fragment sentences and to create complete sentences, all right? So tip number one, volunteer for reading. Volunteer, volunteer for reading, tip number one. Me, teacher. All right, what is it? Go ahead. Look for misplaced periods that may incorrectly separate words into incomplete sentences. Thank you very much. Excellent. Good job, Daniel. So number two, volunteer. Okay, number two, uh, add a missing subject or verb to create a complete sentences. Thank you very much. That's actually correct. So if it, if the subject's missing, so we can add it. What about number three? Volunteer, volunteer. Me trying now. Go ahead, Isela. Join two or more fragments into a complete sentence using a semicolon. Thank you very much. Join two or more fragment sentence into a complete sentence using a semicolon. What is a semicolon? Do you know that? Uh, punto coma. That's correct. It's this one you can see there. Do you see it? This one. That's a semicolon. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much in this one. So now let's just continue with the exercise we have here. All right, so we have six sentences and we need to, according to the instruction, identify and correct the sentence fragments, all right? And it says right there, let's say this one. For example, let's just work together in number one and then you go to the breakup rooms to discuss the possible answers for the other five. All right, so it says, this one, increased engagement has a direct impact on revenue is a great investment that helps to keep millennials interested. So what do you think it's missing? So is it correct or incorrect? Is it a complete sentence or is it a fragment sentence? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Fragment? It's a good Fragment? Who said fragment? That was Adriana, right? Yes. Why would you say that is fragmented? Because we don't have the complete idea about what it said. All right. Can you be more specific and tell me where so I can focus on that part? Mm, we are talking about the second sentence, right? Uh, number one? Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Forget what I... I was saying. <laughs> <See? laughs> All right, no problem. So, number one. Take a look to number one so you can tell me if it is complete. Com 
No, I I think so. Complete sentences. You see a complete sentence. Mm, yes. Yes, me too. You too. Okay. Yes. Well, you know what? Um, you said it is correct, actually. All right. So, but don't you think it's missing something in this one right here? I think it's missing something. You, it's missing something. Have you yes. seen? Have you identified in what part? Like a compliment because um, say keeps millennial interested. Um, don't complete the the sentence. So, uh, uh, increase. Increase and then, uh, and then you go on this one right here. Oh. Hmm? It's complete or incomplete? I think it's incomplete, but I don't know. <laughs> I help you with this one. So it says for here, let's try to understand exactly what it means so we can actually have a better idea. So for example, it says, increased engagement has a direct impact on revenue. If we actually stop right here, the sentence, all right, can you tell me what does it mean? What is engagement and what is uh, increased? What is engagement, people? Do you know that? Casamientos? Matrimonio? Casamientos? No. Not no. no, no, no. Not in, not in this context, actually. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because that would be just like um, compromisos, you know? Compromiso in general, of course. Not like, like getting married, all right? So engagement, increase engagement, all right? So, and then what is increased? That's very easy. What is it? That's uh, benefits. All right. So increased engagement, it says like un mayor compromiso. Tiene un impacto directo, directo, perdón, en las, what is revenue? Ganancia. All right, all right. Revenue, it's son las like ganancias. Muy bien. All right, entonces, mayor, un mayor eh, compromiso tiene un impacto directo en las ganancias. Just that part of the sentence, it's a complete or fragment? Complete. This is complete, yes or no? Yes. This, this is complete. Okay, excellent. But now we need to join this complete sentence with this one right here because it says, now, if we start, uh, for example, let me just erase this one right here so we can actually close it the way it is. Okay. Now we have here the, the, the complete sentence. But then I continue here when it says, it's a great investment that helps to keep millennials interested. Now, yes, Fatima, if I only read that part, I don't know what, what is actually helping the millennials to keep interested. You know, I need something. What do you think I need? Mm -hmm. Do I need to add something? Do I need to change something? Because you told me here that this is a complete sentence you said, right? Yes or no? Maybe maybe you said, uh, uh, what is it, the semicolon? Yeah, that's correct. It's just this one right here, right? A semicolon. So you can join both ideas, right? So for example, just by writing this one here, uh -huh. And there you go. And that's it. Now you join both ideas. And it says just like, for example, increased engagement has a direct input on revenues. It's a great investment that helps to get millennials interested, right? Un mayor compromiso tiene un impacto directo en las ganancias. ¿Cuál es una inversión que ayuda a los millennials a mantener el interés? All right? O a mantener los millennials interesados. All right? So like this one. Um, so that's actually what happens right here. Understand, people, what you're going to do? 
Yes or no? Hello, hello? Hello? Class, are you there? Are you there, class? A little, teacher, a little. All right. So basically, what you need to do is to read the whole sentence and try to determine if it is complete or how can you join the complete uh, sentences. All right. So let's take a look at this one right here. Veamos nuevamente here. Teacher, right. it's like it's like uh, uh, the 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 following the the ideas, the context. Maybe. The context, exactly, right? So look this one, all right? Aquí tenemos los tips. Primero dice, oops, sorry, that was not the correct one. It was this one. It says, look for misplaced periods that may incorrectly separate words into incomplete sentence. Un punto me puede separar la oración. It says there, a period can separate the ideas, all right? It says also, add missing subjects. Hay que agregar sujetos that doesn't exist. Uh, sorry, sub, so subjects that don't exist or a verb to create a complete sentence or number three, join two or more fragments into a complete sentence by using a semicolon, all right? Which is what we did in the number one. In the number one, we had a complete sentence. The complete sentence in number one it was increased engagement has a direct uh, impact on revenue. Then we need to add a semicolon here this one, all right, so we can actually continue with the idea here, which is gonna be this one, so, mm -hmm. and then we got this one. So increased engagement has a direct impact on revenue. It's a great investment that helps to get millennials interested, all right? Entonces, unimos esta complete sentence que ya teníamos acá bien hecha con esta que le hacía falta un sujeto. ¿Cómo la unimos? Simplemente agregamos un semicolon, el chip de esto. ¿Understand? Pues, te deseo un feliz año nuevo. Dándole primeramente las gracias por este año que Dios nos ha permitido terminar. Ok, let me mute iPad. Con problemas y con todas las crisis que contienen la vida. Dando gracias a Dios por este año. Okay. Oops. We almost listened to something that we didn't have to. All right. Awesome. So, uh, questions, people? Mm -hmm. Well, let's do something. Let's just go back to the... Um, um, sorry. Let's go to the breakup rooms. So you can actually continue with number two, three, four, five, and six. And if you have questions, I will be joining every breakup room to determine, I mean, to help you with the questions that you might have, all right? So right now, uh, we are, how many are we now? So we can see here, 13. Okay, so we can go to six breakup rooms. Okay. Everybody, please join the breakout room so you can actually continue with this one. Okay, please join it, join it. I will send the information to the WhatsApp group. One second. Okay, everybody's there. Let me stop the share so I can send this to the group. This is the exercise in the group. So now let's see if everybody is in the breakup rooms. Let's see. Also, Carla, oh, Carla cannot participate there. Let me send this other number too. 
Elena Triana. Number three. Okay. Hector, would you be able to join any breakout room? All right, if you can, please join the request. Perfect, everybody participating. All right, I'm going to... Engaging, engaging, engaging millennial revolvers around leaderships. I don't know what do you mean approach. Approach, teacher. I I identify the the complete sentences or of and uh, the others. Hello, hello. Teacher. Yes, here I am. Okay. Uh, the question is uh but the I go I go uh identify uh, uh sentence complex uh, put it put it in a, a the semicolon actually um Makes sense, all right? So you need to add the semicolon or you need to add a subject or a verb. Mm -hmm. Understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. What was Thank that, you. Fatima? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, Fatima, volunteer number two. Hello, hello. Yeah, number two. It's in a semicolon. It is a semicolon. Where? Um, what do you mean, punto? Punto, it's dot or period in that case, sorry, period. In the period, la approach. Uh huh. So we remove the period in approach. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And, and put a semicolon. A semicolon, all right. And, and how would you how would you um try to like understand the meaning? How would you actually translate that sentence into Spanish? Uh -huh. In Spanish. Uh -huh. Just to see if you it, it makes sense, of course. El enfoque más efectivo. Um, what is es involucrar a los millennials en torno al liderazgo. All right. So does it make sense to you in Spanish? Does it make sense? Yes. All I right. Think. Yeah, because we'll be like, for example, if you actually write it, let's say, for example, on a translator, 
All right. Or if you actually um go on this one, it says like that. It makes it has to make sense, of course, right? So because it says here the most effective approach, all right? So be like this one, the most effective approach. And then you got a semicolon. I will attempt, I will show you what I'm saying right now. All right, engaging millennials. Engaging millennials revolts around leadership. Yes. Brown. All right, excellent. So I, I will show you right now what I was trying to say, right? So, because I know sometimes it's not about translating the sentence, but you need to understand at least at some point, what are you trying to say? Let me see if you can see my screen. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, how can this change? Uh, if I say, for example, this is the semicolon, and if I go just here, it changes the translation. El enfoque más eficaz involucrar a los millennials gira en torno al liderazgo. But if I just add the semicolon right here, el enfoque más eficaz involucrar a los millennials gira en torno al liderazgo. Does it make a change? Is. Ah, all right. So the most effective approach is involucrar y gira en torno al liderazgo. Ah, do you see how it changes? Yes. All right, that's exactly what you have to do with the sentences. Try to like see how actually it makes sense and add words or remove words or add periods or semicolons to see if it makes more sense. Is that clear now? Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. If you need help, all right. So please let me know so I can help you with that. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome, honey. Mm -hmm. I'll go to a different room, people. Don't worry. Bye, Ivan. It's easy once you know the values. Uh, Yes. Oh, congratulations. I can see here the, the number two, it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Only that. <laughs> and number three? Uh, number three. Let me double check this one. No millennials of consideration. Once I know I'm sorry, on my computer, the cameras were covering number three. Let me double check. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So, no millennials assume this generation wants acknowledgement and feedback because of participation in their fees during childhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> no, talking. Because you are you are joining a fragment sentence with a complete sentence. No millennials assume this generation wants acknowledgement and feedback. That's complete, and that's okay. Then you need to join a fragment sentence to a complete sentence. You need a semicolon. Absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. okay. It's like number one, basically. Mm -hmm. All right. So, girls, you're fine. You don't need my help anymore here. I'll go to a different room to see what happens. Okay, teacher. Thank All you. Right. You're welcome. But number four, it's complicated. <laughs> yes, it's. Hello, gentlemen. Are you done? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, teacher. Uh huh. Are you done on this one? Um, uh, I am a little bit confused. Okay, no problem. Let me help you with this right now. All right. So, which one are you doing? Number two? Yes. Okay, don't worry. Let me help you with this one so I can set this. 
a more effective approach. Okay, so let's see. Okay, in the number two, as you can see, can you help me reading, uh, Holman? Yes. You? Uh, the most effective approach mm -hmm. and engaging millennials resolves around leadership. Thank you very much. Let me show you here this tool that can help you. You know, it's not about understanding or translating the sentence, but it's going to help you to understand the context and the meaning. So take a look at this one, for example. It says here, the most effective approach, and then you have this one, which is the period, right? And then engaging millennials evolves around leadership. If we go to this one, which is our language, it says here, el enfoque más eficaz, involucrar a los millennials gira en torno a liderazgo. Let me ask you this, Holman. Does it make sense in our language? Does it make sense? Uh, Hello? The most effective. Take a look to this part. Does it yeah. make sense? Do you know what is to make sense, gentlemen? Uh, Do you know what is it? Might make sense. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Sense, I don't. Okay. Like, now, sense. so does it make sense? What am I asking here, Joman? Uh, maybe is the the most effective approach is. Ah, okay. Let's check it out. So let's see. We remove that one and then we add is. Oh, let's see. El enfoque más eficaz es involucrar a los millennials y gira en torno al liderazgo. Does it make sense? Joven? Yes, yes. Of course, exactly. Thank you. So that is exactly what you have to do to work and to play with the words, to add a semicolon, to remove a word, to add a subject, to add a verb, etc. Right? Is that clear now? Or do you have more questions? Hello? For... No, teacher. Okay, so I want you to please, I'm going to stay here and I want you to please um, solve question number three to see if you understood. Let me hear you. Nelson, are you on, are you online? Can you participate? Yes, teacher. All right. Can you share your screen or Holman? Can you share your screen? Can someone share the screen? I I have them. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. I read. Really... Okay. I don't I don't know. It's a correct, but I think it's. No millennials assume this generation want a knowledge and feedback. It is because of participation so fights during childhood. Childhood. I don't know. Childhood. Sorry. Okay, excellent. So childhood. Uh -huh. what are you going to do in that case? It is because. Mm -hmm. So what happens when because? No, before because. It is because. 
Uh, all right. So no millennials assume this generation wants knowledge and feedback. It is because of participation trophies during childhood. So you're saying that you need to add it is because, yes or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Good job. Good job. That's correct. You did okay. correctly. Thank you. You can continue. More questions, more questions. But I want to hear you participating, guys, please. Come on. I reading, I reading, I reading number four, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. And Holman, what are you doing, Holman? Right, excellent. Oh, you know what? I will go to a different room, people, okay? So let's see. Teacher Carla, I think is listener. Yeah, I know. And you didn't say anything before. Let me let me um move you to a different room so you can practice with Holman and, and Nelson. And Carla, if you can listen to us. Just join the conversation in that room as well, all right? Engaging. Engaging. Now we understand some of the aspects to engage in that. Engaging, correct. Engaging. Uh, engaging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Engaging. Uh, the other one was. Uh, uh, I don't see the other. No, a uh, no management. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Acknowledging uh, uh, something like, like that. Ah, acknowledging. Acknowledge. Acknowledgement is one. It's one word, and the other one is acknowledging. Mm -hmm. Acknowledging. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Teacher, we finished, but we are not sure. Don't worry. We can go to the main <laughs> class right now so we can see, um, you know, if they are correct or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. So we can see this one. So number two and number three, I remember I checked in, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Number four says it's easy. It's easy once you know their values, connecting what they care about with what they are doing. Yeah, definitely correct. There are some things to consider while working with millennials, such as acknowledging their impact, acknowledging, acknowledging their impact, and focusing on their strengths. All right. Yeah. Uh, successfully engaging millennials is a lot like engaging those Caribbean reef sharks. You will need to create the perfect work environment. Yeah, pretty much easy, right? Super easy. Semicolons everywhere. <laughs> yes. 
so so <laughs> it's like confused it's not about like you know what it's not confusing it's actually about trying to find the 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 sense to make sense mm, yeah also. <laughs> Yeah, it's just about that one. So when you read it, you read it and you try to understand it. It's like, does it make sense or not? And if it doesn't, it's because you need to add something. And when you make the change, you need to also verify it and say, like, does it make sense or not? Mm -hmm. Right? So, but yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I think it's confused because in Spanish, you you don't use a lot of semicolon. <laughs> well, we do. We do. <laughs> But when you're talking, no, <laughs> don't <laughs> make some posts too when you're talking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's just basically, you know, it's not like we don't talk like that. We actually mm -hmm. use a lot of those uh, fragment sentence in Spanish, mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it was just like instead of saying, yo fui a la playa, it says like, si yo fui. And that's it. Yo fui what? All right. Mm -hmm. For example. Let's go back to the main class so we can continue there and check the answers, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, people, I was just talking and talking and I didn't realize I was on mute. My bad. All right, so, uh, well, I know that this could be a little bit confusing sometimes, but it's actually very easy. You just have to try to like um, make sense when you actually read it, all right? So, or, or you are trying to understand the sentence, right? It's very simple. A sentence that doesn't make sense cannot go along. So you need to add something immediately, right? So, well, let's just go ahead and verify, see here what happens. Let me share the screen and I can have here some volunteers who can help me to share their answers. One second, this is this one. There you go. Let me know if you can see the screen. Can you? Yeah, yes. right? Yes. Excellent. So I need someone who can help me with the number two. Who's going to be my volunteer for number two? Yep, yep, yep. Hello? The most effective approach is engaging millennials revolved around leadership. There you go. Excellent. So it's about adding the word is. So we eliminate this one right here. You will see here. You eliminate this one. Yeah, we eliminate that period. And then we add there is. Oops. There you go, excellent. So you did it correctly. Thank you very much. That's correct. Number three, any volunteer for number three? Hello? Me teacher. All right, go ahead, please. Um, Non-millennials assume this generation wants announcement and feedback, semicolon, because of participation trophies during childhood. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually very good. So let's see, let's remember, where does the semicolon go? After feedback. In After feedback. So we eliminate this one right here and then we add this semicolon. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Whoops. It might come. Let's say this one. One second. I was looking at the, the wrong screen here. That's why it doesn't make sense. 
Okay. Here we go on this one. What was it? Eliminate this one. There you go. And then you add the semicolon here. There you go. Excellent. So there you go. Okay, excellent. So uh, what's the next one? Volunteer for the next one. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Any volunteer for the next one? Hello, hello. Hello. The number four is difficult, teacher. Oh, no, my goodness. It's not difficult. Any volunteer? I will try it. Okay, try it one more time. Go ahead. It is easy once you once you know their values. Semicolon connecting what they care about with what they're doing. All right. So basically what you are telling me here is that I need to eliminate this one. Yes. Right. And yes. then I need to add another semicolon. So this one right here and then here. Is that right? Yes, but uh, the other placement mm -hmm. that semicolon is after connecting, but don't be sure about it. All right, it's easy once you know their values. Connecting what they care about with what they are doing. No, actually, it has to be before connecting. Okay. Yeah, because if it, if it goes after connecting, so then esta oración pierde el sentido. Porque sería, right? Es fácil una vez tú conoces sus valores conectando. You know? So in the case you said, like, it's fácil una vez tú conoces sus valores. Conectando lo que les importa con lo que ya están haciendo, for example. Understand? Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. You see, number four was, was not easy. It was very similar to number three and number one. All right. So number five, please don't tell me it's difficult because you see it's not. So what's number five? Hello, number five. Hello, hello. Oh, come on, people, don't be shy. Fatima, Nelson, Ivan, Hector, Adriana, Holman, Vanessa. Okay, teacher, I help you. Okay, okay, let's Perfect. see. Five. There are some things to consider while working with millennials. Semicolon, such as acknowledging the impact and focusing on their strengths. All right, excellent. I have a question for you. Do you really need the semicolon? Maybe not, teacher. <laughs> right? So we just actually need to make sure that this one, it's going to be a lowercase s, and that's it, right? There are some things to consider while working with millennials, such as technology and their impact and focusing on their strengths. So because here... The word such as, it works as a connector. So there are some things to consider working with millennials. Acknowledging their impact and focusing on their strengths. If we didn't have this word, or, you know, this one is the word that is connecting the two ideas, such as, right? Because it demonstrates the example. If we didn't have such as, entonces si hay que ponerle un, like, semicolon, porque no tendríamos such as. But we had such as, so we are just going to leave it like that, eliminating the period that was before. Clear? Yes. yes, yes, yes. Awesome, thank you. All right, let's go for the last one, people. Please, that was very easy as well. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. is it? What is it? <laughs> Adriana, okay, tell me. 
Successfully engaging millionaires is a lot of is a lot like engaging holes, Caribbean reef sharks, semicolon. You'll need to create a perfect work environment. All right, excellent. So thank you very much. Do you think actually was the semicolon the one you needed? Yes. Can you and tell me why? I think because it's too long and I and when you in you will need uh um like um I don't know how to say this like a descanso when you are a pass a pass as a, yes sir uh, to make when you are trying to read something that is very long. So that's why I think. <laughs> yeah, it actually makes sense, right? So because said that successfully engaging millennials is a lot like engaging those Caribbean reef sharks, right? And then you will need to create a perfect work environment. So yeah, it, to join the two ideas, you need that one. And of course, because it's a long sentence, we need to make a pass right there. Thank you. So you see, people, it was not that difficult as you thought it was, all right? So it's just about trying to find the meaning. All right, very good, excellent. And thank you, everybody else, for participating here on this one. So do you have questions about that one? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello? No questions? It's practice. It's about practicing. I couldn't agree more with you. But yes, let's practice. Definitely, let's practice. What are we going to practice? It's this one. <laughs> take a look, take a look, take a look. Excellent. So we have a role play, role play, role play. And we have time for practicing the role play. It says right here. Okay, let's see. Um, Fatima, can you help me to read the first paragraph? This one. You are hired as a customer service order assistance representative. A man comes in and when you ask him how you can help him, he says, can I see someone older than 12 who, who meet? Who might? Who might know what they are doing? Mm -hmm. You are both bothered, bothered. Bothered, bothered, bothered by his remark. What do you say to him? What do you do? And what do you say to your manager later? All right, excellent. So do you understand this first part, people? No. No? Yes or no? This is just like, for example, let's see. All right, who was helping me? Fatima, right? Yes. All right, Fatima, imagine that you are working in customer service and you are very young, super young, all right? You just got your Dewey, right? And then the first thing you do with your Dewey is to get a job. So you're working now. And I go to your company. I am an old man, right? And I will be like, you say, when, when I open the door, you said like, hi, welcome to this company. How can I help you today? And I will tell you, oh my goodness. Is there anybody older than you? Because you look like if you were 15 years old. And I guess you have no idea of what to do in this company. What would you tell me as a customer? Hello, hello? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? You have to actually be creative with this one, all right? So how, like, for, but do you understand what I was trying to tell you before? Do, did you get the context? Fatima? Did you get the context? No. No. 
Okay. I'm a customer service. Okay, yeah, you are a customer service representative and you are very young, super young, okay? Yes, yes. I am the old customer, an old customer, okay? Okay. When I go to your company, you open the door and says like, thank you for visiting, you know, thank you for being here. How can I help you? And then I will tell you something like, mm, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk with somebody older than you because you don't know what to do. Understand? Yes. Then what are you going to tell me? Um, sure. Let me, let me, um, let me check with who, who, who attend you. You know what? That is actually correct. However, before we say that, we need to try to offer help by ourselves. For example, if I were you, so it would be like, oh, I understand. But don't worry. I can help you with that. Right? So you offer help first. Understand? Yes. Like, for example, it says, like, no, I, I, I am trained. So I received training so I can help you with this. And the customer says, like, no, I don't want to talk to you. Or la, la, la. So you can say, like, okay, no problem. Let me call my supervisor. Right? So then you go with this one. But you try to help first. Understand? Yes. All right. Excellent. That's the first role play. Then we have the role play here with different colors, which is this one right here. All right. This one. The red one. It says here, can you help me, Adriana, to read it? Okay. You notice that a new young co-worker has explored her first day in your department. She seems shy, reticent uh -huh. about asking questions and a bit ner nervous. Mm -hmm. As she starts her job at at one point, you notice that if she's confused about how to do something. You wonder what to do? What do you do? All right, excellent. Thank you. Did you understand this role play? Uh, yes, I think you are uh, maybe like an old uh, employee. A new employee. You, uh -huh. And you have a co-worker who is younger than you and also is new in the company so he is a little bit she she is a little bit uh, confused and you you have to imagine what you what you could do in this position all right excellent so that's it that's correct so like for example you will say like Imagine you are the, I am the new, the new employee and you are the, the, the employee with experience and I am shy and I don't know what to <laughs> say. Like, for example, you say, like, when I tell you like, Hey guys, do you have questions? And you're like, no, thank you. All right. <laughs> Understand? Yes. All right. And then you said like, don't worry. Hey, look, you can do this and this one. Okay. What are you going to do right now, people? You are going to go to the breakout rooms. And you're going to select one of the ropes, only one. You can select this one or this one, okay? Uh, one is scenario, you know, the first one or the second one, and then you act it out. You got it? Yes or yes? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Whatever, yes, all right, so <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. All right. So let's just continue right now. I'm going to send this to the WhatsApp group so you can see there. And then we can try to join this. Okay. WhatsApp group. Here it is. Here it is. There you go. So now that I have it right here, let's go to the breakout rooms. That's like the way that we were practicing before. All right, please join the rooms. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. 
Hey, everybody else, please join the rooms. Join the rooms. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, perfect everybody there so let's go to number five okay let's see yes okay the, the first do you want to be the customer? What did I hear? Huh? You said more easy? It's easier. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. I will be here just listening to you girls. Okay. Um, do you want to be the customer service or the... Or the customer. The customer. The customer service. Okay. Uh, the scenario is it's like um I'm angry about something, I think. Yes, I guess because um, it's because it's customer service, the people are always is angry. <laughs> yeah. I think that is true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, maybe we can think about why why you you come to the customer service. Mm, I, I don't know about uh, uh, uh something like their cell phone or something like that. Okay. Probably. Like Claro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I have Claro. I probably no. with the sign now, maybe. Okay. 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 Yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> with anger posts. <laughs> okay, hello. I need help. About my sign out in my cell phone, it doesn't work in any place that I that I stayed. I. Hmm. <laughs> now she's like, no, no, what's no. my sign out? No, but but first you have to try to to say something that you want you don't want to to be. <laughs> <laughs> you you oh, want okay. someone? Okay, okay, and, and I call, and I called before to the to the call center, and did nobody helped me, so I came to to this place. So I need that if you can check my phone. Can you can you do this? Uh. But you you have to 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 and in the role play you have to refuse to be a uh, attend <laughs> for me <laughs> because oh. I, I look younger. No, pero dígame algo. Para ah, okay. <laughs> no, no. Actually, Vanessa, you you're doing good. You know, you are an angry customer, and that's fine, right? Ah, okay. But at the beginning, Vanessa, you need to tell Adriana, oh, I don't want to talk to you because you're too young. Understand? No, pero que me diga algo para que yo inglés. No, uh. of course. <laughs> like, like something like what? Say algo. <laughs> something like, excuse me? I'm sorry? Or anything like ah, that. Ah, cabal. Es como que no me entendió, no sé. <laughs> yeah. uh -uh. Or maybe you say something like different. Like, so, for example, Vanessa is reporting oh, problems oh, with Oh, maybe eh, you have to start your cell phone. Ah, no, okay. <laughs> 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 a simple right. question. Uh, 
right. Okay. I I like I like the idea. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me that. <laughs> um, okay. You have to restart yourself. Okay. Oh, restart. Yeah. Or or how do you say? Restart. We, we start. I think it says. Ah, okay. Reiniciar. Ah, uh, but you have problems with your with your cell phone or your of the the telephone of your home. <laughs> no, with my cell phone. So uh, I don't have teacher is signal or signal? Signal. Oh signal. Okay, can I see someone older than 12 or less who might know what they are doing? Oh my god, uh-huh. Ah, okay, okay. But don't don't worry because I I I I take the train and I know how how are the procedures so you can be uh, you can be how do you say tranquilo? How do you relax? <laughs> I don't know. No, I can be relaxed. Yeah. I will disconnect or no say cancel. I will cancel my my, my service with my service with you. I need someone someone older that oh. can help me. Okay, but if you want, no. I can... <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> okay, I can check for if um uh, another coworker is an is is able to to attend you, but you have to to spend more time waiting for maybe like. I like it. I like I it. Need, I, need now. Right now. I need someone right now. I need someone right now. No later, no tomorrow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Excellent. So you girls are going to participate right now. Go to the I, <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. We so, we helped you in the last exercise. You can help me again, remember. Oh, 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 it's, oh, it's like when you go to a when you go to a fast food restaurant. No you can, teacher. You can drink beverage <laughs> once, twice, or many Someone times. Someone older can help you, teacher. <laughs> okay. Vanessa You're is not in the role. In the role. <laughs> you are not in the role anymore, right? Someone older can help you, teacher. I guess. <laughs> So we miss you, Erica. <laughs> All right, so my participants are here. All right, ladies, please be my guest. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, you can do it. Action, action, action. No teacher, it's time time's <laughs> up. No. It's about it's about downtime. It's late. <laughs> you just have to take two minutes. <laughs> and to begin with, you joined the class late. So I'm going to take those minutes to compensate. No, it's a key, it's a key <laughs> <then>. <laughs> All right, action. Okay. Um hello Adriana. I need help with my cell phone because it isn't it doesn't work correctly so i called to the call center and nobody helped me so i need your help right now okay can you be more specific with you with the problem that you have? oh my god <laughs> so i need my cell phone it didn't work the sign the signal <laughs> oh my so goodness <laughs> how can how can i fix it or you can do it <laughs> uh, have you tried to restart you? Oh my god, it was the first thing that I that I did. So can I see someone older than 12 who might know what they're 
what what they are doing okay you... yeah i don't don't really worry because i can help you and with, no because i know the procedures and i i've been in on the training so don't don't we really worry about it so what can i can i do for that i need someone older than 12 you don't know about it <laughs> i can check if if some of my work is, is able but you have to to spend a waiting for no i need him right that. now no tomorrow <laughs> no yes sir nine now please <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Jesus. That was actually an angry customer. I, I was uh, an angry customer. Definitely. I will cancel my service. No. It's a hard customer. <laughs> it is a very hard customer. All right. Very so, well, customer. everybody, I just want you, uh, I just want to say thank you very much for joining the class. I know it's Monday, and sometimes when Monday comes, right? So, you guys. Um, feel tired as well because it was a busy day but I really want to say thank you for joining the class for participating in the class right and I know some of you were not able to to participate fully in the class because you were sick or you were working or anything like this right but I want to say thank you very much for for joining for participating and for being here in the class all right so do not forget to do your homework, right? Do not forget to work daily on your activities, right? And I hope you took the test for the last week, right? So, which is available already. Um, well, do you have any questions before I let you go? No questions? No questions, no questions? No. Easy, <laughs> do, no. You are like, please let me go. And that's fine. Go and sleep and rest. I'll see you tomorrow, right? Have a wonderful night. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, please. Tomorrow. Teacher. Yes? I I have a question. Tell me. Um, In my workplace, Mm-hmm. I have a chance for a vacancy, uh -huh. but require full English. Uh -huh. And I don't know if I, I have prepared for full English. So you want to know my opinion about your English level, you mean? Yes, yes. All right, excellent. So you know what? We can work on that. So we can perhaps right now, if you had the time, I can give you five minutes so we can actually have a short conversation and I can appreciate your English level more. What do you think? Yes. All right. So would you mind telling me about yourself? Um yeah, I I feel nervous and I forget the, the words. <laughs> All right, don't worry. Okay, let's do something. Let's just work on something. I can definitely help you with that one. Um, text me on WhatsApp. I will send you some questions and then you reply to those questions with audios. So then I can listen to the audios and give you feedback. Do you think that it would be better for you? Yes. All yes. right. Thank you. No problem. So go ahead and, and text me on WhatsApp. So then I will send you the questions and then you can actually, um, you know, I can listen to your um, fluency, vocabulary, pronunciation and give you a better feedback. Uh, also do me a favor. When you text me, try to explain to me what is the job you are trying to apply about so I can get a better idea of the questions I can ask you. And then we can try to work on that. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, and have a wonderful night. Thank you, good night. Bye-bye.